My name is Eric Sturbank and I am a system engineer at the support group. I was teaching class last week and there seemed to be a little confusion around filtering portals, which is a pretty sort of simple technique, but it's got a few moving parts. So I thought I'd put together a little video and talk about it today. So as a sample database, as an example, because I'm a big nerd, I have a little Star Wars database that I just threw together. Um, this is a very simple database. We have uh, one table for movies and we have another table for characters. So this would be the record for episode four, A New Hope, the best one, of course. Um, and then a sampling of characters from that movie. Uh, all of these characters I've also marked as whether or not they are on the light side or dark side. And here is my task. I want to be able to filter this portal by whether or not they are on the light or the dark side of the force. So how do I do this? So I'm going to need to do three things. I'm going to need to create a global field to filter this by. I'm going to have to set up the filter, set up a script, and um, attach a script trigger to that field. So that's maybe four things. Um, so let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go to Manage Database, and we're going to create a global field. Global field is, um, of course, a field which has the same value throughout the entire table in which it is in. So for this, it's an excellent placeholder for us to use to filter the values. Um, I'm going to call it GForce Filter. And we're going to leave it as text. We're going to hit Create. We're going to go to Options. And under Storage, we're going to say Use Global Storage. That looks good. And we're going to go to Layout Mode, and we're going to go to our Field Picker, and we're going to drag this puppy right onto here. That looks nice. Um, actually, it doesn't really look nice, but I'm not going to mess around with it too much um, because I want to keep going and show you to how to do this. The next thing I'm going to do is attach a value list to this just to make it a little easier to enter in the information. So over here, I'm going to select pop-up menu and I'm going to select a value list that I've already created called light and dark. That looks good. Go into browse mode. Let's see what it looks like. And of course, I hit light, I hit dark. That is not going to have any effect on this yet because I haven't set up the filtering, but I just wanted to test to see what it looked like. Looks good. I'm going to go back into layout mode, and now I'm going to set up my filter in the portal itself. To do that, I double click on characters, I select filter portal records, and here I need to set up the formula by which it's going to filter. Um, what's the criteria? that needs to be matched for me to see things or not see things within the portal. So I'm going to go to my movies table. I'm going to say double click on GeForce filter and basically GeForce filter, whatever value is in that global field that I just created needs to match up with whatever value is in the dark light field that I have in the characters database. That's a very simple formula. Um, that looks good. Click OK. Click OK go back into browse mode and look, oh, it's filtered. Oh, it works. But wait, what happens if I go to a different record? Does it work? Still works. That, that looks good. Okay. What happens if I hit dark now? Nothing changed. Why did it not change? Well, it didn't change because this portal FileMaker requires that it be refreshed before it's going to work correctly. So we're going to add in two small things. We're going to add in a script that's going to force this portal to refresh. And then we're going to attach that script to a script trigger to the global field we just created. All right, should we get going? First thing we're going to do is we're going to make the script. So we're going to go to script, the script workspace. We're going to create a new script. We're going to call it refresh portal. Oops, if I could only type. And then we're going to give it one, one step, refresh portal. And we're going to actually specify um, the, the actual name of this object. I'm going to call this character list portal. And I'm going to copy that because I'm going to need that in about two seconds. Click OK. This looks good. Hit Command S to save it. Get out of the script workspace. My script is complete. Um, next thing I want to do is go into here and I want to make sure that this portal is named what I just 
named it in the script. I want to make sure that the script knows it can find this. And to do that, I have to name this object. Um, so I'm going to make sure that the name, character list portal, is there. That looks good. Double check. Everything is good. All right, last but not least, we have to attach a script trigger to this actual dropdown um, or a pop up. And so to do that, I right click on it, I hit set script triggers, and I'm going to do an on object save. Select the refresh portal script, looks good. Click OK. Everything else looks good. Click OK. And we see we get our little asterisk here saying that the script trigger is attached to this field. Lovely. All right, now last but not least, most important step, testing to see if it actually works. Um, here we are, it's dark, but this all says light because obviously the script hasn't run yet. So let's try it and see if it's gonna work. Hey, it works. Selected dark, now it's dark. Selected light, now it's light. Go back to this. Here we go, those are all light. That's dark and our little filtering of our portal is complete. Thank you very much. My name is Eric Sturbank again from The Support Group, and have a great day.